Bilbao is one of Spain's lesser known and underrated cities, a hub for design and cuisine. Found in the Basque region of northern Spain along the French border, Bilbao will immediately blow you away with its blended building styles. And what better way to see it than through the eyes of an architect? I'll take you on a quick tour of Bilbao's architecture, neighborhoods, and we'll even talk about the cuisine, because no travel destination is complete without food. I spent six days in Bilbao in April of 2022. Similar to Barcelona, spring is a great time to visit Bilbao due to the lack of crowds. One thing to note is that since Bilbao is on the northern coast, the weather in the spring will be quite a bit cooler than in cities along the southern coast. Temperatures will be in the 50s and 40s rather than the 70s and 60s. As soon as we get off the train in Bilbao, we walk through Casco Viejo, or the Old Town, and I immediately fell in love with this neighborhood. This was a walled part of the city up until the 19th century. The architecture here is extremely colorful and charming, due in part to the Basque architectural style. The buildings are typically three to five stories constructed of stone and wood, and often have floor-to-ceiling rectangular bay windows on the upper levels. This is where you'll find small businesses, coffee shops, and pincho bars. Some of the attractions to see here include Mercado de la Ribera, at 110,000 square feet, this is the largest covered market in Europe. You'll find produce, meat, seafood, bars, and restaurants inside. Plaza Nueva, a neoclassical square built in 1821. The square is surrounded by an arcade housing a bunch of shops and traditional Basque restaurants. And on Sundays, you'll find a flea market selling coins, stamps, and flowers. San Nicolas Eliza, a Baroque church designed by Ignacio de Ibero in 1756. It's got a really unique octagonal dome on the interior. Bilbao Cathedral, a Roman Catholic church built during the 14th and 15th centuries in the Gothic and Gothic Revival styles. And Teatro Ariaga, a neo-baroque opera house on the Nervion River that was named after Juan Cristóstomo de Ariaga, known as the Spanish Mozart. In the central Obando neighborhood, the Guggenheim Museum is a top attraction. Designed by Frank Gehry in the deconstructivist style and opened in 1997, the Guggenheim is a modern art museum that is the focus of many architectural theory classes across the world. The structure is the result of the desire for something daring and innovative. The result is a sweeping titanium and glass form whose curves are intended to appear random. The interior of the museum is made up of two main gallery areas, one rectilinear clad in stone and one central atrium space that's roughly in the shape of a flower, with views above into the exterior twisting in at all angles. The exterior of the majority of the building is clad in titanium, which was selected due to its ability to withstand the harsh natural conditions of the Bilbao climate. Titanium is also significantly lighter than steel and is more sustainable. The titanium panels were actually manufactured in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania due to their high energy sources. The museum received mass acclaim, both locally and critically, with many renowned architects dubbing the project the greatest building of our time. The project was actually both on time and on budget, which is surprising for a building of this size and complexity, not to mention political status. Outside, you'll find some additional art installations. Maman, which is a giant spider towering overhead along the river, and Puppy, which is a stainless steel dog covered in colorful vegetation standing guard over the museum. Other architecture in the neighborhood includes the Zubizuri, or White Bridge in Basque. Designed by Santiago Calatrava and opened in 1997, this tide arch footbridge links the north and south banks of the Nervion River using white painted steel and glass bricks underfoot. The Bilbao Municipal Library, which is a very modern structure constructed from natural stone and glazing. And the Department of Sanitation, which has a triangulated sculptural glass facade. Bilbao has two stadiums that you should check out. The first is the Bilbao Arena, located across the river from the Old Quarter and at the top of a hill. The arena can hold up to 10,000 spectators and is the home to the Bilbao Basket Club, a professional basketball team, as well as a sports complex that's open to the public. The arena was designed as a tree with slender steel columns supporting the green metal clad facade that houses all of the mechanical elements and the arena roof. The second stadium is the San Mamés Stadium, home to Athletic Bilbao. With a capacity of 53,000, it's the largest stadium in the Basque Country. Similar to the Allianz Arena in Munich, the facade's white panels can be illuminated to show any color or pattern. The metro stations throughout Bilbao were designed by Norman Foster. What's unique to Bilbao is that the metro station was planned, designed, and built as a whole. The curved glass openings emerge from the earth, revealing escalators that will take you down to the very spacious station caverns, tall enough that a full mezzanine is able to fit above the trains and platforms. The design of the space is dramatic and welcoming, and I'd highly recommend taking a journey through the metro system. Finally, hop on the funicular and head up to the Archonda viewpoint for panoramic views of Bilbao and the surrounding mountains. You'll be able to see the river, the Guggenheim, and Bilbao's lone skyscraper. Regardless of what lens you're looking at a city through, I think food is a crucial part. Food and drink can tell you so much about a culture, and especially here in Bilbao, food is a central part of life. 
Pinchos are to Bilbao as tapas are to Barcelona. Like tapas, pinchos are small plates, but the vast majority of pinchos are constructed as food on bread. Whether that's jamon, cheese, eggs, fruit, or seafood, anything can go on top of a slice of bread. And similar to the rest of Spain, Bilbao also has a great vermouth culture. Let's talk about a few restaurants to highlight. Bastor is a traditional Spanish restaurant serving up pinchos and tapas. The Bocata Calameras was excellent, and the restaurant makes their own vermouth. Goriatoki is a classic pinchos bar found in Plaza Nueva and is consistently ranked as one of the top restaurants in Bilbao. The standout dishes here were the curried meatballs and the Basque cheesecake. The last restaurant I'll mention is Agape. Both the quality and quantity here were outstanding. The food rivaled some of the Michelin restaurants we ate at and the portions were enormous. For 16 euros, I got half a bottle of wine, bread, water, a first course, main course, and dessert, and there was easily enough food for three full meals. The risotto with alioli and the pork cheeks were my favorite dishes. That's all for this architect's guide to Bilbao. If you like what you saw, or if there's something that I missed that you think everyone needs to see, let me know in the comments.